Hello my friends and welcome to the video today. I'm going to be continuing this Pokemon playthrough. Uh, there was a little bit of a delay in me making this happen again, mostly because I had the second video ready to record and then recorded the wrong screen. I have a two monitor set up and it just messed up. So we're continuing now. I have my level 7 Kakuna. I had to replay up to this point because I messed up getting the save right. I saved and then realized I recorded the wrong monitor, so now I'm going to be a little more careful about not saving over past saves, which I can do since this is an emulator. That said, this is an emulator of a game I do own a physical copy of, so, you know, I'm probably fine with that. Uh, you hopefully the frame rate looks a little bit better. I bumped it up to uh, 180 as the throttling, and it just looks a little smoother to me. It's a little bit fast compared to how this looked in the original version, but we're gonna. It would be nice to have a Metapod, but I'm gonna hold out for a Caterpie. I really want a Caterpie. I want this thing to have tackle off the bat. It is really a headache to try and level up a cocoon Pokemon from cocoon because it's got one move so it's all just switch hitting to get the one you want to level in the field but then swap it out for the one that has some levels uh, but yeah I mean level 7 Kakuna with poison sting versus a wild Kakuna with nothing but harden so we're just gonna button mash through this fight if you remember from the last video, it is a bigger issue for me that I run out of power points for moves before I run out of HP. So actually to make the grinding go a little bit faster, frame skip, throttle, no for throttle. Okay, this should go faster. Cater ah, it's a Kakuna again. All right. We're gonna make this a little bit faster to, uh, let's go no throttle. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, scream through this fight. Yeah. All right, level eight. Another Kakuna. Two Kakunas have pretty much burned through my power points. Pokemon Center it is. 180. Pidgey, I, I can't use a Pidgey. Also, I don't think it has any flying moves yet, but I'm not gonna risk that. Ugh, every bird is going to be a threat in this playthrough. <sighs> Weedle, I can fight a Weedle. Okay, this isn't gonna chew up too many power points for me. No throttle, button mash. Come on, give me something. Weedle, button mash. I want a Caterpie. Need a Caterpie. Come on, give me a Caterpie. Give me a Caterpie. Give me a Caterpie. I'm gonna have a Beedrill before I get a Caterpie. This is crazy. Caterpie, okay. I don't want to button mash and accidentally kill this thing too soon. If I don't one-shot it, which I might, eesh, I may have over-leveled. I didn't one-shot it. I think I can get this Caterpie. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Yes! Okay, we're gonna hit the Pokemon Center. Whoo, yay, okay. Okay, we're gonna heal up Caterpie, we're gonna put it in the front because Butterfree is genuinely really good early game. Um, I'm gonna have some struggles with Butterfree being one of the best things in my party late game. But early game, I mean, when I'm not doing a challenge run, Caterpie is one of the ones I'll go for because Butterfree is so solid. Like, it, it can sling out psychic damage and status effects, which is so, so good. Okay, Caterpie, you're up front. So basically the plan's going to be if I run into a uh, Cocoon Pokemon, Caterpie's just going to, like, whittle it down and get all the XP. If I run into anything else, it's gonna swap out with the Beedrill, or with the Kakuna, and they'll both just get XP and we'll try and get the Caterpie leveled that way. Turn off Throttle. It's chewing up a lot of power points, but it'll get some XP on Caterpie. 
Oh wait, Caterpie could have just tackled that one. That's what I was just saying. This one is the one I want to swap out for because it can actually do offensive damage and it would probably kill a Caterpie pretty quick. Caterpie's to level four. Yes. Oh, that's such a good get. And I can't use it this playthrough. The Metapod can't actually sling damage my way, so even though it takes a lot of attacks to do it, Caterpie can kill it. Caterpie's to level five. Woo! Because this playthrough is going to require so much power leveling, um, I think I'm just going to make it the default that I do just scream around the map as needed. So yeah, I think the Weedle's gonna kill me, or I'm gonna get it with a thrash. Either way, I think most of the XP for this fight is going to go to Caterpie. Yep, so Caterpie's gotta finish it off. Boom, done. Okay, back to the Pokemon Center. No throttle. Yep, this, this guy's just spinning around. I came here with some friends. They're out for Pokemon fights. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras. Now I'm finding Caterpies. Actually, yeah, this is a level advantage and no uh, type disadvantage because poison is effective against bug. So yeah, Caterpie made it to level six. Whoop, whoop. Wow! Okay, if you're power leveling in Viridian Forest, I guess you can just find a lot of Pikachus. That's... crazy. I've done entire playthroughs where I gave up trying to find a Pikachu, and I guess they were all just over in this little piece of the map. Whew. Whew. Okay, I didn't know if I'd win that fight. Pokemon Center time it is. Yeah, this, this throttling's intense. Uh, I'll, I'll probably put like a flashing warning on the episode, I guess, because I am just screaming around this map. Man, like, for real, there are playthroughs where I have given up on finding a Pikachu in Viridian Forest, and I've run into three on a playthrough where I can't catch them or use them. Um, actually, I mentioned last video, I probably didn't even mention this video, why I've got all these weird rules. This is a bug type playthrough. It's why I don't have a normal starter. I caught Bulbasaur, which was probably a mistake. Uh, my rival has a Charm Charmander. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, he's going to be a brutal fight for me as this game progresses. Oh. Wild Kakuna, so I can just dump damage at him and he won't be able to counterattack. 60 XP, level 7, Metapod! Um, no, it's still got type advantage in a big way. I'd rather hit this one with the Kakuna. Actually, this one won't be able to counterattack me. Tackle it down to nothing. All right. Another Pikachu. Jeez, are these things, were these things not even ever rare? I think I've seen more of them than Caterpies at this point. So here's the thing. I am absolutely doing the good bug catcher aesthetic right now. A Kakuna and a Metapod. Beedrill, nice. I was gonna say, running around with just a Kakuna and a meta Metapod feels very bug catcher to me. Yes, it's dead. Metapod grew to level eight. Nice. I would like to get a Butterfree. Uh, we'll see if I can kill this thing with the Thrash. Yeah, I like getting rid of String Shot because it's so many power points to chew through if you actually need to rely on thrashing to finish the fight. Um, if you haven't played these before, I'll actually slow this down so I can show you what I'm talking about. Enemy Kakuna used Harden. Oh, I was hitting Shift and my computer didn't like that. So yeah, I have two moves in my moveset, Tackle and String Shot. So Tackle is out of usable power points. If I can get String Shot down the same place, I assume everybody knows this if you're watching a Pokemon on 
Pokemon video on YouTube in 2022, but in case you don't, once you run out of power points on both moves, or all moves that you have, then you do Thrash, which is just damage, but it has um, flashback damage. So I don't know with his Harden if he's going to actually take less damage than I do. Yep, Metapod, oh, Struggle was the one I was thinking of, not Thrash, Struggle. So he'll take some damage, but I'll take recoil. It looks like he's gonna die. Struggle, there it is. I get hit with recoil, 40 XP, okay. Um, yeah, let's hit the Pokemon Center. Can't be much more left. Um, Metapod got poisoned. I don't think I have antidotes. Yep. All right, never mind. We're not making it to level nine. This, this is a good place to cut it. All right, so next episode, the plan. Finish power leveling this Metapod into a Butterfree, take on the Bug Catchers of Viridian Forest, and then maybe get a first peek at Pewter City. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you for watching. Please share the video with a friend or several friends, and let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see me draw in a future video. Later, y'all!